Oh, guest 420. Well, we're going to be reading our first shit pasta just for giggles tonight. This uh, this series probably won't last very long, but eh, you never know. It's always good to laugh at something that someone tried to write and uh, just wasn't very good at. All right, now let us begin. Once. I was strolling Roblox. Oh, we're already having a problem. See, they're trying to make this Roblox a thing, like... Ugh, fuck. What the hell is Roblox, anyways? Uh, from what I know about it, it just looks like a Minecraft clone to me. Like, whatever, let's go back. Then, I played Jailbreak. Well, that was pretty flat fast. I looked at the servers and saw a private server. Fucking genius words. It said, weed. I was like, okay. No, seriously, this is so stupid how bad these guys are at writing. They, they actually wrote that. I got greeted by a guest. Guest 420, that is. Who the fuck is guest 420? Or 420? He made him. Shit call weedy. In the game. Oh, fuck, that's... <laughs> then, he gave me weed in real life and forced me to smoke it. <gasps> oh, my God. It's one of those anti-marijuana anti commercials. I mean, Reefer Madness was terrible, but this is even worse. Then... The cops came and arrested me. I escaped prison soon after and found guest 420s. They... He, he killed me with a bong. I... <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> First human being to ever be murdered by a fucking... <laughs> Object used to smoke marijuana. <laughs> that's not creepy. That's just bad. I woke up and found out I was still in prison on death row. I escaped and thought, why the fuck are you on death row? Seriously. <laughs> and I fought guest 420. Doesn't even go into details of how he met this guy or well, sort of. It sort of does, but not too deep, but... Is 420, 420 a chick? Is it a, an alien? Um, I don't know. I'm one of the uh, Roblox character come to life. Like, what the fuck is guest 420? Oh, uh, never mind. It's probably better off that I don't know, because I'll probably piss myself laughing or die of absolute disappointment. The theme was Final Showdown for Bully. The game was... S star S and S and S music's awesome. Oh, fuck me. No, that's not awesome. And anyone who thinks otherwise should kill themselves. Anyway, I knocked him in a vat of acid and said, Nothing like a chemical peel for your skin, huh? Guest 420. And I woke up. And that's why I never drink triple sec in whiskey with tonic again. Then I ate Jeff the Killer's head and ate Slenderman as well. Wow, that was guest 420. You know what? That, that, this could have been good if it was written by someone who you know had, knew how to write. And didn't include any of the shit that we just read. Okay, on to the next crappy pasta. Here's another one. Ashley the Killer. Wow, um, I've never heard of anything like that before. I wonder who this is ripping off. No, I'm not wondering. I know who. And, uh, fuck. Uh, let's go. There was a girl named Ashley. She was 13 years old and had black and fushika hair. I don't fucking know that word, so I don't care. When two man girls bullied her and hit her, she always liked to read creepypasta like Jeff the Killer. She had wet dreams about, oh, who the fuck has wet dreams about Jeff the fucking killer? About him and, oh my god. No, and read 
Red, as in the color red, not red as in red, as in read. Ugh, fuck, idiots, learn to spell. Read his story a lot of times. She had a shrine of him in hope to meet him. Why, was she fucking retarded? <laughs> Someday, and wanted to be just lick him. Fuck. So one day, she went to school and brought a niff. To school. Yeah, you don't need to repeat that twice. Idiot. When she got there, she saw the girls. Wait, weren't they men? Wait, weren't they fucking... Men? Just acting like women? Like, what do you mean by man girls? Never mind. And they called her stupid and kicked her. So she took out her knives. 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 Fuck off. And stabbed the girls to death and said, go to sleep. She said that because she wanted to be just like Jeff. No shit, Sherlock. So after school, she got home and her mom and dad weren't home. So she conveniently saw bleach and vodka next to the door. Oh, and I know exactly what she did. Let me guess, she put it on her face, burned herself, and then she became as white as Jeff. Uh, creative. Uh, I, I give one for creativity. I mean, to come up with something that bad, you had to have been doing something to yourself. But before she put the bleach and vodka to use... She changed into a tiny skirt, in skirt tights, and high heel shoes. Then she got a box of matches that she found on the ground, and she dumped the bleach and vodka on her head. She, it would have been just better off if she just shot herself. It, it would save me the trouble of having to read this further. But anyways, then lit herself on fire. Then she heard, uh, heard, oh, fuck off, heard a fire truck. I'm pretty sure that's not one word, but whatever. Coming. Later, she woke up in a hospital. And she had white skin, 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 whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. Then later, she went home and cut her mouth and burned her eyelids. Later, she went to the forest that was neck neeks to her house. And she went on her search for Jeff. The killer. News report. Ashley Smith was missing from her house. And two girls were killed by Ashley. If you see her, call the police. She's very dangerous. Oh, fucking shoot yourself. Later, Ashley was walking through a forest and feel a hand on her shoulder. No, that, that that's supposed to be... Oh, never mind. I don't want to keep correcting these idiots. She turned around and saw Jeff. Hello, Ashley, Jeff said. Ashley blushed. Hi, she said. Then Jeff kissed, kissed her. And one year later, Ashley gave birth. And her and Jeff named the baby Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby was Sonic.exe. The end. Don't steal my OC. Please, make fan art. Fuck you. Well, now that we're here on the fandom and we're making fun of all these god-awful crappy pastas, you're not gonna believe- Look at the title of this one. Evil Fidget Spinner Almost Died. I, I can't make that up myself. If I couldn't. I couldn't. Hello, everybody. I got a fidget spinner at a yard sale and the person sell it was- Sell it? What do you mean sold it? Never mind was old and he said, uh, be warp. It is an evil spinny fidget. I said, shut up, you old man. You just hate fidget spinner. I like them. I am 10 years old. La 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 la. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, good lord. These are terrible. So I bought spinny fidget with $69 and took it home. I spun and spun and spun and blood came out of the ceiling. I thought it was a glitch. What? 
What? Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. You thought blood spilling out of your ceiling was a glitch like a video game? How the fuck is that a glitch? It might be a glitch in reality, but a glitch in a fucking video game? Like, from a toy? Sorry, I know I was about to say video game. Thank God I stopped myself. I thought it was a glitch. Probably because you're mentally unstable. I went to bed. Later that night, I woken up at 3 a.m. And I heard spinning. I said, WT, F, 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 F. WT, F, 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 F. WT, F, 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 F. It was the most spook. I walk down my stairs and I see ghost girl spin spinner fidge. And she look at me and said, Boo. I say, I woke up at 69 a.m. And I think it was dream, so I was happy. And then a skeleton popped out. <laughs> well, hey, at least he's not looking for fan art. Okay, after this, I'm going to have one more, and that's it. I swear to God, this is stupid. The Pop-Tart tragedy. Oh, we're in for, for uh, a nice little whirl of stupidity here. Girl stops meeking out in ask boy... To get pull tarts, he does think girl takes deep breath and girl sees BFI impregnate. Will you stay my BF in? He says, new girl is. Hurt broke in, girl cry in moons. Are we. A while, I should say, from boy without eating pop tart, and she has no blood sugar. So she forced a boy runs over to her. She did boy cry. I see, I know be a BF, cause I wanna be your husband. Sorry, I'm trying to pronounce this how it's written. It's fucking stupid, so. He screams in froze, pop taught. Wow, uh, W O L, a beautiful dial man, ring woos in seed. Oh my fucking god, never again. Please, just to the writer. Of this and pretty much everything else I've written, I've read right now. Um, do us all a favor and just stop. Well, we got one more.